I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Milo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the...? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Molo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Dad! Foster! Help me! Help me! Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them. I told them there were demons stalking the dark. The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken.
despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey, excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... Ah, uh, no! Damn birds! Wait, I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. No way I was going to get between those birds and their feast. I was short on food, but maybe I had something in my bag I could spare. I needed to check out that body. It was the only clue I had. I wondered if a needle's pie would draw them away. corpse lay propped against a rock. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. Union City. I was back. Over the years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Unregistered Gap Lander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for. If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. So, how do I register? Easy. 
Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-tip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register. Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. Bye for now. Pleasure. How can I help? There was a strange smell, and it was coming from the truck. Those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck. The gang gangs didn't rate my chances against all of those razor sharp beats. How can I help? I guess this was the immigration terminal. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. U-chip implant successful. You are now registered with Union City. A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. Authorized citizen ID required. called upon my extensive background in engineering. Hey, it's working! Hey, we fixed it! Yeah, piece of cake. Dude, Council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. Name Somsworth. What can I do for you? Hey, have you by any chance seen a kid come through here? Where's the little dude headed? On an adventure, is he? Oh, no. He was kidnapped, snatched from his village, and brought this way. Oh, right. Uh, no. I, I haven't seen anything like that. Sorry. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work. Insufficient permission. Citizen ID required. was a statue of my friend Joey. I couldn't imagine why they would have erected it. If Milo had been taken this way, I was sure Joey would help me find him. I needed to find someone around here who'd seen the stalker. The guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Smelled like it too. Sir, 
Excuse me, sir. Are you... Whatever you're selling, I am buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. I'm looking for a vehicle. Well, mate, today's your lucky day. This is a vehicle. No, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell and we'll be on our way. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs? <laughs> Think you've got bats in your belfry, mate. I saw what I saw. It kidnapped a kid from my village. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. But I've never seen any come through here. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye. Emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours. Turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini keys cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to naught. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice, until they send someone out to juice up Brucey's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Have you spoken to Hobsworth? Didn't I say someone competent? That muffin doesn't know a panhard rod from a Chapman strut. I'll leave you be. I'm fine with that. I recognize the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Excuse me. Hello? You! Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my deed. Lost your what? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only... Since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed. It'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now, excuse me. What's a deed? My deed, man. DTT. Data transfer tool. Deet. What's the deed for? Duh. Transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me, and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. Who's Big Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my deet. Tell me about this deet. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the deet to swap them. At least I did, until Big Steve grabbed it. What do you trade? Like I said, sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. Second one doesn't happen very often, since inside's got, like, everything, and free. But it happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my deet, that is. That's all for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal.
bird's beak looked especially vicious. were tough desert birds. Waving a crowbar around wouldn't phase them. Enjoy this little piece of happiness, courtesy of Minos. The machine ejected a garish, beclowned can of soda labeled Spankles. At your maximum allotted spangles allowance. Have a nice day. Make the world shine with me. I got you a drink. Shame it ain't something stronger. Hi again. I'm looking for a boy named Milo who might have come through here recently. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel, and the only thing they're missing is a few screws. See you around. Bye now. Looks like you're working pretty hard. Need a spankles? Oh, hey, man. That's super chill of you. But I'll just grab one myself when I pick up a thirst. <laughs> 